Hi there, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to create an amazing groovy afrobeat in Ava Studio. So if you're looking to create a very bouncy and rhythmic afrobeat using some amazing smooth melodies, you're in the right place. So fire up Ava Studio and let's get started. So the first step is crafting the melodic elements. Afrobeat melodies are often very vibrant and catchy. And in this beat, I've tried to experiment with unconventional patterns just to make it more interesting. So the goal by making melodies is to make it as realistic and dynamic as possible. So first adjust the BPM to 114 because in this beat, I've used some more Emma Piano inspired elements. So I'm creating kind of a combination between those two genres. So first I've started off with the addictive keys and I'm using the Mark one Mondoline preset. So in this case, I'm going to create this beat in C sharp minor. So let's start off by drawing in a melody. So I'm going to start off by creating a simple chord progression like this. So let's pitch this one down. That's it. Shorten up this melody, copy it over. And I'm making sure I'm picking the next note within the scale. So let's say F. That's it. Copy it over again. And then let's adjust the chord progression. So this is basically the foundation for our chord progression, but it still doesn't sound very dynamic. So we have to add another layer to make it sound more unique. So let's zoom in a little bit. So let's add an F right here and let's add this C. Let's copy this, let's cut this one right here. That's it, that sounds really cool. Copy it over and I don't want to make it too repetitive. So pitch this one up right here and let's use this C. So this is our second part of the chord progression. That sounds really cool, really dope. So right now we want to still soften up this chord progression. So we want to strumize it by pressing option S right here. So just a little bit. And of course we're gonna randomize this one, maybe select bipolar and play around until it sounds good. Soften up the melody a little bit and then make sure to make some individual tweaks to the notes. So select them and then press option and scroll down. So this is a very easy way how to tweak individual notes when it comes to the velocity. So this is our final chord progression. Sounds so cool. All right, the next step is building the drum pattern. So the drum pattern Afro beats is crucial. It's basically the heartbeat of the track. So for this beat, I try to add some unconventional elements. So I'm adding a hard kick and adding some percussions, which are not that common. So I'm just trying to create something unique and inspire you guys. So I'm gonna use the drums from the African producer bundle and I'm selecting shaker loop. So I've included 60 unique shaker loops and I'm using shaker loop 18. So let's have a listen. Very organic sounding shaker loop, really cool. So right now let's draw in the first kick pattern. Very straightforward, but very easy. So right now let's add some percussions. So try new rhythms, unique rhythms. So then I've layered two more percussion layers. And on this one, I've added some reverb as you can hear. So I've just used a small room and this adds another dimension or layer to the drum loop. Let's have a listen. So now I'm adding three more toms from the Afrobeats Infinity drum kit. As you can hear, it's already coming together. And then I'm adding a clap, an anvil, and an open head. And on the clap, we'll also add some reverb. And then I'm finalizing the drums by adding some more hand percussion. Oh. Very groovy, very dynamic, and this is exactly what I'm looking for. And in the end, I'm adding some more wooden percussion, also from the Afrobeats Infinity drum kit, to add some more high frequencies. So 
for now I'm going to introduce a bass line, which is a complement to the drums. So the bass in Afrobeat in most of the cases is very bouncy and drives the track forward. And also make sure it blends very well together with the drums. So in this case, I'm using this 808 sample, which is 808, which contains a lot of low frequencies. And let's draw in a unique pattern. So I basically follow the root note. So the root note is A and C. But as you can hear, the 808 doesn't sound that good. So we have to play it one octave up. So pitch it up. That's it, as you can hear. So turn it up. And right now let's play around. So create something unique. And as you can hear, the 808 sample isn't long enough. So we have to make sure it plays the same rhythm as the kick. That's it, that sounds really dope. So let's duplicate it, pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl B. And we could easily pitch this one up right here. And then I want to add another slide note. So let's add a slide note right here. And let's adjust this one to, for example, F. So let's have a listen. That goes perfect together. Really cool and really unique. But right now it's still missing some elements. It sounds just way too empty. So we have to add some more elements, which add a lot of rhythm and groove to this beat. So in this case, I'm using the augmented strings. I'm using this preset, which sounds like this. Really cool pad. So let's use this as another layer. Added a lot of reverb. And I want to add a couple of those layers just to create something unique. Then I've added another layer from the augmented strings, dark, dark chocolate, this one. Adding some more ambience to the beat, which makes it just more unique. I mean, I haven't heard something like this before. And then I'm using the Matrix 12 V, far away preset, this one. Sounds really cool. Let's have a listen. There's a tiny texture in the background. And then let's add a layer which plays every second beat. So I'm using the carved out preset from Analog Lab Pro, which sounds really dumb somehow, this one. So let's have a listen. But instantly add some more rhythm. Still, it's missing some high frequencies and you want to make sure your track contains enough high frequencies. So the next step is adding another organic element. And in this case, I've added some strings. So I'm using the Violins 1 Essential from Contact and it's playing this rhythm, which is basically the same chord progression as the keys. So let's have a listen. That's it, another beautiful layer, adding a lot of depth to the beat. And then within the Mini Freak, I found this preset. Really weird preset, but I think it sounded cool when layering it, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Surprise the listener. And last but not least, I've created a reverse sample. So I've basically recorded the strings and the keys, and then I've reversed the sample. So right now it sounds like this. So then I've added this limiter to make sure it comes in at the end at a chord progression. So it sounds like this right now, really unique trick. Really dope. And I've added some really cool effects. So this effects from fragments, also from Aturia. And then I've added this rotary effect to create this kind of panning to the left and right effect. And of course some reverb to add some more room. Then I've added some random vocal chants from samples. Just in the background. Just 
just to make it a little bit more interesting, adding some more texture to the beat. And the final element which I've added is the log drum. And I mean, you always have to add a log drum to those kinds of beats. So I've added log drum 19 from the Emma Piano Paradise drum kit. So I've added 30 log drum presets, which you can easily drag in and use in your project. And if you're not using Apple Studio, but for example, Logic or Ableton, I've also sampled those presets. So you could just drag them in into your DAW and I manipulate them. So right now I'm adding this rhythm. And I'm creating this section of the log drum kind of as a roll, because in most of the cases in those beats, you would use a very simple drum roll, but I just wanted to switch it up and create something unique. So in this case, I've used the log drum, which kind of replaces a drum roll. So right now that we have our key elements, let's arrange the beat. So most Afro beats have very dynamic arrangements with a lot of variations when it comes to the drums and melodies. So you have to experiment with different sections to keep the arrangement interesting and keep the energy flowing. So in the arrangement, I've added this clip. And I've also added this up and down lifter. which keeps the arrangement interesting and just announces something new is coming up. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown of this amazing Afrobeat. If you found this video helpful and inspiring, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay tuned for new videos. And let me know in the comments what you think of this beat. And maybe also you have another suggestion on how to create a certain beat, like for example, this track or this track. I would love to hear it, so make sure to let me know in the comments. So right now let's listen to the final result and I hope you have a great day, create some awesome music and see you in the next tutorial.